What happened to the tripod I bought you? I left it. Oh my god. What's up everybody? Alex is here. Say Hello. Hi. Hello. Today I decided to vlog. Um, we're going to be heading to get some food and the car is moving. So today is week seven for both of Tuesday. us. Tuesday. Yesterday I had my second to last clinical, which I was super excited about. I was planning to talk about it, but I fell asleep last night. So I'll probably talk about it later. So I just wanted to briefly talk about uh, my experience in the ER during clinical because it was actually really cool around 7 and like right off the bat like I kind of expected this for the ER just because it's the ER and it just kind of like you go with whatever goes. 45, 15 minutes in I already like did my like first IV and honestly I was a little bit rusty so it took me a little bit longer but I got it on the first try so that was good. Um, which was like, I think in the ER, it's like you just have to do. I really didn't even think that much about it. Second IV, I really thought about it and then I missed. <laughs> and I think because the first time I didn't really think about it as much, I just kind of did it because like it was right there. Um, I did it better. So in total, I did almost like like seven. Yeah, I did around like seven IVs total. And then I did a couple of blood draws. I don't remember how many, but that's like a big portion of like what we did in the ER throughout the day um a lot of them were very general symptoms like abdominal pain nausea vomiting so it's very like vague um patients are in and out like so so fast i remember when i went out to lunch we had i think four patients and then when i came back from my lunch like two of those patients were already gone like that's how fast the turnover rate is so it's pretty neat in that sense because everything's very fast paced and there are like some grouchy like patients here and there of course there always are but yeah so that was that um but the cool thing is like if they're grouchy you just like help them out then you ship them on their way which is really cool um i think the coolest thing about er is like there's a little bit of everything so there's some peds in there of course like um, I didn't really get to do that much with peds there because there was like one kid, a lot of like geriatric, but then there's also like some people who are like in their 20s, 30s. There's also, there was a psych patient there, um, he was on a one-to-one, -one, but I don't know, they, he like ran off and we had to like go chase him. And I think they have a different, um, gown for people who are psych. But because it wasn't a designated psych facility, um, they had to call someone, I think, to take him somewhere else. But yeah, it was like really, really cool. Like I liked the pace of ER, but my only issue with it was the fact that like, don't get me wrong, it was so fun to learn and it was like a really, really good environment to like be a student and like do all these things because honestly, throughout our other rotations, we don't get as much experience, but in ER, everything's going on. You see a little bit of everything and it's really cool. But at the end of the shift, I like knocked out. So thinking, like how people do like three nights in a row of like being in the ER and I know maybe not all nights are like as crazy just thinking about it it was making me exhausted but overall it was a really good experience things like vitals taking their weight doing assessments but there it's not like the full head-to-toe assessment it's more like focus assessment and right off the bat you can kind of tell I remember there was one lady who told me, they told me like hook her up onto the monitor and there we automatically do like EKGs on them um, just to monitor and see. Um, but I, straight off the bat I could tell um, she had ascites. I, I'm not really sure what it was but I just assumed that they were going to run labs on her to see what was going on. Um, she was confused so I assumed maybe... Um, Maybe something with pancreas or liver. I don't know. Um, she had a little like discoloration in her feet. I think she was losing some sort of like perfusion. Um, but yeah. Didn't get to follow up with her. Like that was the end of my shift after that patient. So I'm not really sure what happened. But yeah, everything's very fast there. Um, there was one patient that I know um, who had a PE and he... Um, had no past medical history, but he had some history of substance abuse, so 
you can kind of tell by the symptoms wise like the classic symptoms of um PE would be AFib because you know the heart is quivering so then you would assume like okay if the heart's quivering like it's it's more at risk for throwing clots um and then he also had he was throwing not throwing up he was coughing up blood which is a another symptom of possible PE and he had um right-sided pain um he was just very agitated in general but um yeah that was really cool to see the fact that especially because i didn't know that they could run these tests so fast because within like 30 minutes to an hour we already like they already had a diagnosis and it was like insane which is good because you know you never know what could happen um but yeah also like someone gave me this bracelet and i thought it was really sweet like I know I'm wearing it right now, and it's actually really, really cute. Um, one of the patients gave it to me, and it was really neat for them to do that. Um, they really didn't have to do that, but I thought that was sweet. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I know that was kind of like scattered and all over the place. I wish I had talked about the ER like right after I had gotten back from it. But as I said, I literally was so tired, I knocked out. But overall, it was a really good experience. I would 10 out of 10, like... I wish my my um, preceptorship was in the ER next term. I would literally love to do the ER for, especially as a student, it's such a good place to learn. I think one of the things that I learned was um, to just lend a hand everywhere, even though your nurse is um, like on break, and just offer to help someone else. And I think that's something that I learned later on, um, especially when you're like, when it's kind of like slow, there's always something to do. Like, you never know, especially in the ER. Always have like your gloves on hand because you never know when you could just jump in and ask them if you, they need help. Um, and like, just don't be afraid to do stuff because I felt like a lot of the times when you're a student, it's easy to like kind of just stand back and watch as opposed to like going up to them and asking like, can I do this? But in the long run, if you mess up, you're a student, it's not like that big of a deal with Owen. Even if I make a mistake, like if I miss an IV or if I like didn't know how to do this or that, people know that I'm like a student and it's kind of like, oh, okay, like maybe you don't have that much, ex much exposure to it. So it's just a really, you are such a good like learning environment and it's, it's just really fun, you know. But we're gonna get some soup plantation, but yeah. I'm gonna grab the plantation. It's about noon right now, and then we have stuff to do later. <laughs> Subway Cafe. Mm -hmm. So, what'd you get? Salad and pasta. <laughs> it's a lot busier than last time. I would get the vinaigrette, but this. I need some fats in my life. I got a potato, but I squished it. Then I got some more carb and some corn. I don't know what Alex got. Don't ask what I got. It's all weird. We got some snacks. Yes. Yeah. Extra bread. But even in this light, that still looks nasty. We should go swimming. We're going back to Alex's apartment. It's like 1 p.m. I need to start studying. Uh, so this week is an open book exam. I need to tab my books. Oh, because that's uh, what I need to do. And write your notes in there. Yeah. So they said it's like cumulative. So. Wow. Uh, okay, so Alex is gonna take you along with him because I'm just gonna be studying <laughs> and I always study. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Alex is gonna take you guys with him to work and class. I'm just gonna go to work and class, that's it. It's better than me, I'm just gonna sit at Starbucks. <laughs> okay. Better. Okay, bye babe. Okay, so apparently I'm vlogging today and it's weird because I'm really tall so Jasmine can usually hold it down here and it looks fine 
I have to hold it up here because I'm tall. Now I have to walk 15 minutes to class. Not just class. Walk 15 minutes to my student who canceled, but I want to get paid free money, so. Oh, if you guys don't know, uh, I'm a peer educator at the ARC, and so I basically tutor math, but I also just help other first years to like kind of transition, which is kind of ironic because I had a really bad first year, but at least I get to give them some advice. It's also been a while since I've vlogged, so. Bear with me if I'm kind of awkward on camera still. It's kind of weird to have a camera in my hand again. Where this channel all got started. Right there, UCR. Just finished with work and the only class I had today. So I'm headed back um, to Jasmine, one Starbucks. Then I'm gonna go take a nap for 30 minutes and then we're gonna head to the library to study. See ya. That's basically all I do on Tuesdays, so. Pretty uneventful. I don't know why Jasmine gave me this. Uh, woo, I'm a vlogger. Look what I got. Dragon fruit. Mango dragon fruit. What did you get? I got a vanilla latte. Vanilla latte. So Alex took over the vlog for a little bit. We'll see how much he actually vlogged. Um, it's much. like 4.30. still really hot. I don't know why I'm wearing this jacket. We're gonna go take a nap. And then we're gonna go study. Probably at five something. Yeah. Just a quick nap slash rest. And then we gotta study a lot more, like a lot more. So we're probably gonna just grab whatever food. Yeah, meal prep. So we have a candle on because it smells. Wow, really so smells intense. Good. Okay, so what are you eating? Um, I have leftovers from lunch. <laughs> mm. Is this the gluten free one? Yeah. I can tell. It's good though, right? Yeah, we're not fun. But she wants that brownie dough. With them? Yeah. The gluten free one though. Why? Because I'm on a health cleanse. I don't do that at all. I want. It's hot, dude. Ah! It's fucking hot. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I'm a bad vlogger. Okay, we're going to the library now. Because that's the study. Mm hmm. Look at her book. You know, it's legit for like part two. Got it. Got it. Alex, you have a red dot on your nose. Yeah, like it's the record button. Ding, ding. Oh, okay, we're gonna get tacos first because. It's Tuesday. <laughs> I feel like I'm asking tacos, but I don't wanna waste my time. Secured the goods. And this one over here is stressed out. Why are you stressed out, B? I have a lot to study. People said it's cumulative. Now I need to study more. Look at her. In her stressful element. Gym day today. What's up, everyone? 
I am on the treadmill right now. I'm trying to multitask. Um, the next morning, I am gonna go work out a little bit. Uh, I'm not really sure what the plan is today. I'm probably just con gonna continue to study. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna finish my workout. My friends are sending me their notes about how, like, what they're doing to prepare for the open book exam, and it just makes me feel more unprepared, so I need to put, make more tabs to make it easier to, like, flip through the book. So I'm gonna do that. This is literally the current setup. It's horrible have all these post-its okay guys thanks for watching my vlog it's kind of like all over the place and <laughs> my vlogs have been kind of chaotic and like inconsistent but thank you guys for watching and I really really appreciate like I know we just hit 2000 which is like insane because when I don't know how long everyone's really been watching but it's been quite the journey if I'm, to say the least um, you've seen me go through like majority of my undergrad <laughs> on this channel and I remember doing this as just like a fun thing to look back on I remember me and Alex would just film these things because we just like to look back on these things and the whole reason why I did YouTube was because I really liked editing I know my videos haven't been well edited and I wish they would but I just like don't have the time to anymore but somewhere down the line I hope to step up my editing game because that's like really really what I love about YouTube the creative side and like just sharing my experience especially with you guys because it's weird that I'm talking to a camera by myself in my room but like it actually reaches people but anyway that's the end of this vlog I'll see you guys in the next one and thank you so much for watching um, if you don't follow my social media I post a lot more in there I'm gonna link that down below um, if you have any questions, message me through there or comment down below. I'm more likely to see it there. And I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye, guys.